What's up guys, Christian Longer here. Sorry about that last episode ending quite pointedly, but unintentionally. Uh, we are still exploring the wasteland. I basically trashed Fabo down to the wicked shipping fleet lock, which I cleared before when just randomly traveling to kind of like explore this area a little bit. Um, get some fruit and vegetables so I can start building crops back at home. Excuse me. Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you got some spare time. I'll give you caps for anything to bring in. How many caps? What are you paying? Yeah, like bottle caps? And because it's money? Uh, at least it is here in the Commonwealth. You guys pay for things with bottle caps? What happened to dollars and cents? That old stuff? Not too useful these days. Unless you're looking to stock up your outhouse. What are you paying? Three caps per melon. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Make it five. Deal? Deal. But let's keep it between the two of us. The last thing I want is another lecture from my mom. So if I pick melons, I get caps. Alright. Doing all the melons. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. Bro, Piper, get the fuck out of the way. It's funny. Just for a moment. Bye. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. Yeah, all right. That depends on what's for sale, lady. I suppose I can't help it. Hey there. That's close Just enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Sort of. Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor. And you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't, ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? What about the Minutemen? If you join up, we can all help each other against the raiders. You don't say. I thought the Minutemen were all gone. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. So you can understand why I'm glad to hear the Minutemen are back. Although, a bit too late for my Mary. Well, why does she deserve it? There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to lose someone that close to me. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but 
Those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I think that's the locket I found. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the minute may be, you Yo, can count trophies. on us. We got a decent workshop here. And Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. Cool. What you got, homeboy? Let's trade some things. Sure. So I can just like take your bottle caps? <clears throat> Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. How are you holding up? Thanks to you. Better. Mary was a good kid. She had fire in her. I can't tell you how many arguments we had. <laughs> that girl hated rules, and believe me, I had plenty. Mm -hmm. You did your best. Did I? What's the best you can do in a world like this? Why we are you in the, the risks of having kids these days. And we took them, but it was worth it. I won't argue that. Anyway. Enough. I'm sure you got plenty of your own thoughts to deal with rather than listen to mine. But like I said, if you need something, just let me know. It's not every day a stranger comes along and helps us out the way you did. Gonna pass. Suit yourself. But now... So, can I like pick up stuff? Mm -hmm. No. Well, I didn't know that. I wonder if I can cook anything. Hey. Oh, excuse me. Just to like have a Matthew fine. Honestly, it doesn't look like it. Well, actually. I just want to trade a few things. Can we trade a few things? My aid. How about all those fucking melons? Sure thing. Well, there's a house down here. <laughs> what house that thing? <laughs> okay. So that was Abernathy Park. Okay. What's 
this? Hi, how are you doing today, sir? Damn straight. What was that? I see you. Well, that pipe is a uh, that's an ugly ass fail bull, actually. Good teamwork. So from what I can tell, whatever they were doing in here, is it Corbin? Fuck yeah. Anyways, eh, he needs a hand. Anyways, gonna go inside this root cellar, see what's up. I'm gonna call it a day for this episode. Because we would have explored Abernathy Farm and this cabin thing. How do you find anything in here? Well, you see, Piper, I'm psychic. Take that desk fan because, you know, things are about to heat up. Ha 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 ha. Puns. Making toast. Okay. Um. Take you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. I guess you can say he's been disarmed. Haha. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. Uh, inventory aid. So I'm gonna take. Building a fat man. Well, this is obviously why they all turned to ghouls. There we go. to his terminal. Nice. Nice. 